Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a full 20 box blaster case of 2020 Panini Prism Football. A lot of great stuff here. Pick your team number one. No vet common ship in this. And there was a chance, if you bought at least two teams, a chance to chase the Chargers. So big thanks to all of these folks for buying their spots straight up. Let's sort this by column A and see who bought those two teams. Aaron bought two. That's an entry. Ben bought two. That's an entry. EA bought two. That's an entry. Guy bought six. That's three entries. Jason S. bought two. That's an entry. Josh K. bought two. That's an entry. Kurt bought two. That's an entry. Mark bought two. That's an entry. Richard bought two. That's an entry. Scott bought two, that's an entry. Shane bought two, that's an entry. I think that's it. Yeah, enough with, enough with that, Nelson. Otherwise, we're going to have to ban you. All right, let's get all these names here. And let's roll it and randomize it six and a five, 11 times. Let me make sure I got everybody. So Shane got two. Scott got two, Richard got two, Mark, Kurt, Josh K, Jason, Guy, EA, Ben, and Aaron. All right. So let's roll, re-randomizing it uh, five and a six, 11 times. Name on top gets the charters. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven the final time. After eleven times, congrats to Mark. There you go. Mark, you have the Chargers. Oh, I need to copy your name, not all the names. There you go. You got the Chargers in this break. Nice, congrats. There you go. The final printout hot off the presses. Thanks everyone for getting in. And good luck. Let's open up this case. all over the place here. So there's 5, 10, 15, and 20 boxes right there. Good luck, everyone. Thanks. I'll open up a handful of boxes at a time. Does anyone have any predictions for uh, for Saturday's slate of games? Indianapolis at Buffalo is the early game. I think Indy is still plus six, plus six and a half. I think it's been holding at that number pretty much all week. Kurt saying go Washington. Brad says Hawks over Rams. What's up, Corey?
Uh, I, I I put some early or some early investments on some teams here. I got I got Colts plus six and a half at Buffalo. I think it's one of those things where I think Buffalo is going to win, but I think it might be closer than people people will think. Uh, I I, th I think I think Colts will cover. I don't think they're going to win though. Teddy, who do you have for Rams at Seahawks? Or who do you have for... Yeah, I think, I, I think the Rams are plus four and a half. That's what I took them at. I think that game will... Bills is the early game, yeah. I mean, Bills have been playing well, but I don't think they've been playing like anyone particularly scary in the recent weeks. Right. But yeah, they disappeared in the second half. That's the concerning thing about the Colts. There's David and Yoku. Right, could you, Jonathan Taylor is needed in this game. There's C.D. Lamb, rookie relic for the Cowboys. Where's my list? That'll be for Dallas, that'll be for Shane. Sometime tomorrow, Chris. It's got to fill up first. We're still, we're still. Uh, if you look at the schedule, you can see the details, but we're still a little ways away from filling that up. But at some point tomorrow, I would think. It's Dion Jones. And there's our first Justin Herbert rookie card. And there's Philip Rivers for the Colts. Looks like orange velocity, I think, is what this pattern is, right? Or are they calling them laser print? I don't know what those orange ones are, but anyway. I like it. it. Looks cool. And there's Justin Herbert. Mark got the Chargers. So Brad's pointing out the last they've outscored their last three opponents, 142 to 54. But who are those opponents? Right? I guess Dolphins was a big win. But, I mean, is beating the Patriots 38-9 really anything? Beating the Broncos 48-19 anything? You know, like, that's not the Colts. Colts are a playoff team there. And they, they, they kind of blew out the they blew out the Dolphins, but, I mean, that's not really a playoff team either, as it turns out. I don't know if that's really saying much. They out, they outscored bad teams. They beat bad teams by a lot. Josh Uchi. Jordan Love, Baker Mayfield. Bills are good. Don't get me wrong, but I think uh, I think it might be closer than one thinks. At least that's what I'm thinking. You know, that's that's why I put the play on the Colts. I could be completely wrong. You know, which is entirely possible. But Josh Allen only only second playoff game, correct? I think they should have, yeah. But he's a much different quarterback now, though. I think it'll be a good game. I think it'll be a good, good game. Right, last two playoff teams they played, there, there you go, it was a 10-point and 9-point win, Pittsburgh and Seattle. 
All right, see that that's that's a lot that's a lot more closer. And if you look at the metrics, you can even argue that the Colts are better than Pittsburgh and Seattle. So then maybe I don't know, maybe Vegas has the line spot on. Maybe it will will be like a 6-point game or something like that. Couple boxes. Rusty saying Bills are winning at all. Market. 841 Pacific Time. 841 PM Pacific Time on Friday, January 8th, 2021. Rusty Santa in the chat saying Bills are winning at all. Market. Someone someone screenshot that. I guess they could. I mean I, I don't see why not. They'd have to get through the Chiefs. That's going to be a tough matchup against the Chiefs in Kansas City. Although no crowd, so maybe that kind of takes away the kind of takes away the home field advantage, but it still might be really cold. I don't know, but it's cold in Buffalo too, right? So maybe that doesn't matter. It's Jameson Crowder. Jerry Judy orange matches the color of the team that goes to Denver. That'll be for Josh K. There's our first Joe Burrow. Cincinnati Bengals, Ben with the Bengals gets the Joe Burrow. Josh Kelly. There's Brady for the Bucks. Scott Blackwell. Yeah, it sure did, Randy. How much is... Uh, how much is Chase Young? How, how much of a disruptive force will he be against the Washington football team? Uh, against uh, Tampa Bay, Tom Brady. What, what is it? Who does everyone have there? Bucks, primetime game, Saturday primetime, Bucks at Washington. I think I took them, I invested in them at plus seven and a half, but it looks like they're at plus eight now, so the line is not moving in my favor, but. I think I think Washington keep it could keep it close as well. You know, if uh, I don't think they're going to win, but can they keep it close? I don't know. I guess the Washington offense is going to be kind of an issue. But if their defense is pretty legit, if they could keep Tom Brady off balance, you know, kind of bug him a little bit, not let him get comfortable. That might be the key right there. So I've got Indianapolis for Saturday. I got Indianapolis plus six and a half. I got the Rams at plus four and a half. And I've got Washington. I've taken all dogs on on Saturday. I like dogs. We'll see how we'll see how that turns out tomorrow. My regular season picks record has not been good this year, so I might have to take those picks with a grain of salt. What about Sunday? Anyone have anything for uh, for Sunday? Oh, okay, Brad's got weather report for us. In Buffalo, it'll be clear in low thirties by game time. Seattle, clear and near 40 degrees game time. And rain expected in Washington, D.C. tomorrow night. Highs in the 30s. 
Could there be... I don't know. At what point does, does, does snow happen at that point? I don't know weather. I don't know snow. Or is that still rain? I don't know. Maybe that means uh, a slower paced game, which would favor the points. Low scoring game favors the points. Maybe a, a garbage touchdown at the end for the Washington football team to cover. Yeah, Antonio Gibson puts in work on the ground. Mark Missouri with the Washington football team. Who knows? He looked good in that Thanksgiving game. Sorry, Anthony Harris. It's Raquan Davis. Christian Kirk. Miles Jack. Devin Asiasi. Darren Waller. Trey Flowers. Kenneth Murray. I like how the I like how the Fitzpatrick's are right next to each other. Ryan and Minka Fitzpatrick are right next to each other. Michael Pittman Jr. Silver. I don't know, Travis. What if he has a big game? I like rookie silvers. What if he has a big game? Phil Rivers, a couple touchdowns to him. His cards would skyrocket at that point. There's Jake from State Farm. What's up, Jack? No, I did, we did not see any Vikings as of yet. I guess Justin Jefferson's are what we're looking for for you. So no, no nothing on the Vikings front. But we still have many boxes to go, as you can see on the top screen there. Has DJ Dow's been getting any playing time? Here's another rookie silver for the Seattle Seahawks, Jason Sadu. Travis saying that'd be great. Oh, DJ Dallas did get work when Carson got hurt. All right. This is this is the fun part about the hobby, I think, is like you'll get these cards, right, and you'll be like, all right, now I want to now I want this guy to look, to do well this weekend. Mr. Man, what's up? Will there be random autos and patch cards in here? Yes, blaster boxes tend to be lighter on the relics and the autographs, so it's mostly the hunt for uh, the hunt for rookie cards and uh, and it's, and parallels. But every once in a while, there'll be some relics, and we had the CD Lamb relic that popped a little bit earlier. But I think autos are going to be few and far between. Really, what we're looking for is. You know, the big rookie names at quarterback or rookie silvers. Stuff like that. Especially in the blaster boxes. In the hobby boxes, there can be more expectations for uh, for for hits. There you go. There's a Justin Jefferson, Townsend. Got the orange velocity parallel here. He's pretty good. If it wasn't for Justin Herbert, he might win Rookie of the Year, Offensive Rookie of the Year. I mean, I guess there is an outside chance he still could. Yeah, 
This is Jared Pinckney, rookie silver. Atlanta Falcons, that'll be for Guy. All sliding around here. There we go. And here is a relic, rookie gear relic, Chase Young. Mark Mazur with the Washington football team. He may be chasing down Tom Brady all day long. Jason Pierre-Paul, though, on the other side of that game tomorrow. Brandon Graham, Adam Thielen. All right, halfway through this break, ladies and gents. Anyone have any thoughts on, I know, anyone have any thoughts on, it's two days, tomorrow is Saturday. That's the more immediate games, but what about looking ahead to Sunday? Who's got thoughts? Who do you think is going to win? Here's what I have. I'm increasingly hating this pick that I made early on. I may have to hedge out of it, but Baltimore at Tennessee. I took Tennessee plus three and a half. I don't know why I did that now. The more I think about it, the more I don't like that pick. Like, I actually kind of like the Indian app, my Indy pick. I kind of like my Rams pick. You know, I think that Washington pick's a little spicy as well. But I'm looking at Tennessee plus three and a half right now, and, 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 I'm, and I'm disliking it. I mean, the only way this happens is if... Because Tennessee's been giving up a lot, a lot of points. Their defense hasn't been as strong as it was, say, last year, I think, when they were in the playoffs. They need Derrick Henry to really just run wild. But if Baltimore takes a lead, exactly, Ian, that's what I'm saying. Tennessee has no defense. <laughs> yeah, I'm not liking that pick. I'm, I'm, that must have been my second Jameson when I made that pick. Not liking that. I, my only shot is if maybe if Baltimore starts off flat and if Tennessee maybe lucks out and get, takes an early lead, Ravens tend to have a little difficulty coming back from from being down. They're a good front-running team, especially since they run a lot. They can control the ball a lot more. And they're great with the clock if they're ahead. But then again, Tennessee's defense is bad, so maybe they can come back from a deficit. I don't know. I'm not liking it. <laughs> they're, they're a bit of a revenge factor, right? Didn't, didn't Tennessee beat the Ravens last year? So maybe the narrative works against me as well. It'll all depend on Lamar's fiber levels, right? If he has, if he has, if he has a high fiber meal the, the night before or the day of, actually a morning game, so yeah, maybe high fiber night before and get 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 the uh, get the digestive system activated, you know. That might, that might activate Super Lamar Jackson and take him to the next level. Yeah, Travis thinks the Ravens will win it. See, I thought they would win it, and I, but I thought it would be close, which is why I obviously took Tennessee, but now I'm thinking it might not be that close anymore. <laughs> I'm not liking that pick. Uh, Teddy, who do you have? Uh, Baltimore at Tennessee. It doesn't matter, straight up or spread, however you want to do it. Another Justin Herbert for the Chargers for Mark. There's J.K. Dobbins. Baltimore's going to win pretty easily, you think? What do you think? By how much? J.K. Dobbins might be a big factor in that Ravens game. True, true. Yeah, Tennessee's defense is messed up. Yeah, I, I guess, I don't know. That's, that's that's just my fault for thinking that. I'm thinking about last year's defense. Tennessee's defense was. Right. 
They ran into that Ravens or the Bills bus saw. You don't like to it, but but you're you're anti lefty though. Look out for Devin Duvernay, ladies and gentlemen. He's been re he's doing a lot of special team stuff. I've seen him rattle off some big runs. There there could be a special moment in the playoffs for him. Tyler Boyd Blue going to the Bengals. Ben with that one, not numbered, but a different parallel. Then we got a Keyshawn Vaughn relic for the Buccaneers. That'll be for Scott Blackwell. There's Teddy Bridgewater. There's a Jalen Hurts for the Eagles. That'll be for Kurt. I'm, li I'm liking what I've seen in Jalen Hurts. Maybe he keeps that up next year. He sa saves Doug Peterson's job next year. There's ben DiNucci for the Cowboys. That'll be for Shane. Javon Kinlaw, Anthony Miller, and Teddy's favorite, Tua Tungavailoa. Nice relic there for Miami. That's going to be for Richard Burbank. There you go, Rich. Jason Huntley, and Jared Pinkney, rookie silver for guy and the ATL. All right, let's open up a few more boxes here. What about Chicago at Nolens? We we've seen some Seen some Bears fans here amongst our crew. Bears fans being bullish about Trubisky. I don't know if I share that sentiment. Sorry, Bears fans. Got a couple good friends that are Bears fans too, and they're one of my one of my friends who's a Bears fan who actually works for the NFL Network said uh, something to the effect of Trubisky is a mirage. Travis hopes the Bears lose. Well, the next two games are the two... I've taken the two favorites. I've got Nolens, New Orleans, the Saints, minus nine and a half. I'm laying the points with the Saints. And I took the... I, all of these picks I took really early. I, t I took them on Sunday. And I was trying to get ahead of the line. I, I figured that that... Saints line could creep up to like minus 11. It, it might still. I think it's at like 10 now. At double digits. 10, 10 and a half maybe. Actually, I haven't looked today. Maybe it's creeped up to 11, but I don't think it's going to go back under double digits. Um, I, pl I play a unit or two, whatever your unit size is. I play a unit or two per, per game. Maybe more. Maybe I'll start increasing in the divisional rounds and then the conference rounds. I don't use dollar figures because that means nothing, right? One man's thousand dollars is a lot. For someone else, it might not be a lot. So I think unit size is a better way to talk about it. Everyone's, everyone's bankroll and acceptable level of risk is different. So for entertainment purposes only. The unit size conversation is also better because, you know, if you think, oh, if he's betting X amount, of, then, I'll, then I'll bet X amount of dollars that I don't have, maybe, and then I don't want to get into that situation. So we're pros here, Nelson. We're, we're careful about how we say things. But it's not really that, not, not that much. It's really just for, just for fun. And for Convo.
We got a Jalen Hurts relic, rookie gear for Philadelphia. Kurt with the Eagles. Anyone have any thoughts on the, the Saints game? I mean, I personally think the Saints just roll. I'm not super... I think all the other games are going to be pretty close, but I feel like the Saints will roll in that game. Kurt with the Ravens. Kurt, different... Oh, no, same Kurt with the Ravens. Is saying, I wish I could use the FanDuel sports book, but your state doesn't allow that type of gamble. But you could use DraftKings and bet fantasy wise. Yeah. I think I think I think the state all the states are still trying to figure out what they were gonna allow and not allow. Like you can't play DraftKings in Vegas. Or in Nevada, I think, I'm pretty sure. Or Arizona. Nice Joe Burrow, Bengals. That'll be for Ben. I think eventually, I feel like a majority of the states will will eventually have just your traditional single game wagering, you know, at their local casino or a retail location or something like that. It'll happen. There's Derek Brown. Yeah, Nelson saying, yeah, if you keep your unit size at 100 or under, it's a lot of fun. He's like, but when you bet big, he stopped betting big. It's just not as fun. No, I don't, I don't, I don't bet like that. Not until I have, like, Elon Musk money, but there's Jalen Ragor. But I do, you know, I do it just for a little bit of fun. Just for a little... I mean, I'd watch the games anyway, but just for a little extra action. Kurt with the Eagles as well. Brad, so speaking of the Saints, it's the 10-year anniversary of the Beast Quake. Beast Quake. What a moment. moment that certain fans won't do it. Jeff Ray, uh... Yeah, sure. I would, um... I would go uh, to jazbeescasebreaks.com, click that support button on the homepage, bottom left, and you can request a refund. It'll most likely get to you uh, tomorrow, I think. But then I'll, I'll be sure to remember to take out your spot and add a spot back in. So unfortunately, folks, that break isn't going to happen. That flawless break is not going to happen. Unless there's someone interested in getting the spot that that uh, that Jeff is giving up. My name is Joe, by the way, Nelson. Well, the chasing is the part that you can't that you shouldn't do. I don't I don't really chase. If I just have a bad week, if I have an offer, then it's like that's my offer. I'll just try again next week and not try to make up for it on a Monday night game. Oh, I never buy. I would never buy points. <laughs> At that point, put it in a teaser. Yeah, unless we have someone who wants to buy the spot that Jeff is giving up. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to hold Jeff to a to a nine hundred dollars spot if he's not into it. It's all good.
Last bit of boxes, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. <laughs> no, it's all right, Nelson. I mean, I can't, I can't twist. Yeah, you could, but I can't twist someone's arm. Um, I can't twist someone's arm into holding on to a nine hundred dollars spot. Um, no, Josh, I will not do that five by. That's that's just way too long at this stage of the evening. Sorry. I was only willing to do flaws just because it was going to be like a five minute break, but. That's, that, that was the only reason why I did that. No, it's all good. Sorry, Josh. I'm actually just I'm kind of running out of steam right now anyway. We'll get it done tomorrow. There's Goff. Let's see if his thumb. See if his thumb is okay. If one gets a refund, it goes back to your original payment method. And then the refund. Whenever we activate that on our end, it's refunded right away. Um, and then it's just up to your, up to your bank or whatever to see how long it actually hits your account, comes back to your account. Usually, it's a business day or two. No, I'm not going to twist his arm. Nelson, you shouldn't do that. I mean, if it, if it was a $100 spot, you know, it's on the homepage, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Look at the bottom left-hand corner. It says support with a question mark. Or if you're on a mobile device, it'll be a little circle with a, with a question mark. Yeah, if it was a $100 spot, i definitely twist Jeff's arm and be like, come on. <laughs> but not at this price point. I want to make sure that if you're buying a spot, you definitely 100% want to be in it. No, we're, we're not that. We're not that kind of operation here. And the last bit of this blaster break, nothing huge in this, to be honest with you. I thought we were going to see some low-numbered monsters here, but nothing too huge. Nice, though. A couple Joe Burrows, a Tua Relic, some Jalen Hurts. You know, a lot of those orange, a lot of these orange uh, velocity parallels. And some rookie silvers. Nothing earth shattering. It's nice, but nothing earth shattering. I was expecting a little bit more, but hey, listen, those are the breaks. We'll get them next time. That was 20 box blaster break. Pick your team number one in the books of 2020 Panini Prison Football. I saw some more in the back, so there may be more opportunities to chase the big ones in these blaster boxes. I'm Joe. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye bye.